He's just a good old boy who loves burning rubber and driving fast. Well, we're on a trip. In the Carolinas, we definitely are not, uh, not going to stop by here and check out and see what these knuckleheads are up to. Where are they at? I saw them. They hiding. All right, they're hiding from me. Anyway, let's go inside. Yay! Our favorite person's here, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Driver's here. Driver's here. Uh, these people. Yeah. What are y'all doing? Scrapping. Scrap run. Scrap, scrap, day. scrap run. Scrap run. Scrap day. All right. Scrap day. You are new to the channel. Tell everybody who y'all are. Uh, I'm Shane, 18. You might as well get used you to it. started, yeah. yeah. What are you going to be doing? What are you doing here? I'm doing racks. Doing racks? What? Yep. <laughs> New guy. He's out. I'm in. Heck yeah. Uh, All right. I'm not, I'm not completely out. I'll no. still be here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm no longer doing rag. Oh, there's Look, the there's the boss. The boss is here. Boom. I ain't boss. She's the boss. <laughs> yeah, boss. Yeah. yeah, can't come through to Carolinas and not stop. So here we are. So I'm told it's scrap day. What does scrap day mean? It's all the crap scrap that somebody tore up. Hey, it wasn't us, and this, this is good <laughs> money right here. Oh, yeah, that's big money right there. That's right. That's the, the whole old... reason we're going. All this is just extra. Yeah, the copper head gaskets. That's a lot of pennies right there. That's right. Man, look at that freaking high dollar nice two piece manifold. Plus Junk. This. Freaking guy tore it all up. Plus Boom. You know what I'm going to hear about? What's up? Oh, you should give that away. That's yeah, what I'm here. I'm sorry, y'all. We're recycling. It's going to scrap. Hopefully, we don't have more this year. Exactly. All right, roaming around the shop here. Normal off-season stuff. A lot going on, and sometimes not so much. So basically, Bellhausen flywheels, clutches, rear wing, front wing will all be set off to SFI for certification. What you got everybody doing, buddy? What, off season is like uh, a lot of work and yet at the same time a lot tedious. Yep, it's mostly getting everything organized because when we're on the road, you just shove it in a pile and you deal with it during the off season. <laughs> So just getting the race car ready. We got some people moving around, new people coming in. Um, basically just organizing, uh, just getting the shop up to par so it's more efficient for this coming up season. Yeah, yeah, because we just kind of went to work. Rick bought this thing and, <laughs> and it was time to go. Yeah, when I came here, it was just uh, everything from Doug Stringer came <laughs> over here. It's like, man, what do you guys got? And went racing really, really quick. So it just, it flies by during the off season. Yeah. Truck and trailer projects, we're moving a couple of things around so it's more efficient. It's just, man, we should have did this during the off season. You think about it when you're going rounds and now we have to execute it. So. Right, right. And yep. I was just saying like, that stuff's all headed for SFI. Yep, yep. Wings. So. As, clutches, bell housing. Yeah. Y'all will find that out in a minute. <laughs> yep, so they've been practicing, um, just putting it in on the car, so yeah. we just want to hit the ground running when we go racing. Yeah, because yeah, typically we will have already sent that out, but with yeah. training a new clutch person, y'all kept it so that some training could happen. Yep, so next weekend, uh, Cupcake, he's local in town, Mooresville, yeah. so we'll send that stuff out. The Bauhausen's already done. Jeff Ford already did it. Oh, I went to okay. Michigan during Thanksgiving. Yep. Went to his shop. He's 45 minutes from my house. You're ahead of the game. So I drove to Indy, dropped the wings off, drove to Michigan, spent time with the family, yeah. did SFI. So getting Heck a little yeah. ahead of it. Yeah. So. yeah. so we'll see what else everybody's doing. And uh, that's kind of what we're doing. All right. So Jesse just made a little, uh, what would I call that? Gave y'all a little hint. So, y'all have all watched the video, I'm pretty dang sure, because 
like 120 something thousand have watched. So guess who's here? Oh, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? I, You're supposed to be IndyCar racing. I know, I know. That, that starts on Monday, so it's coming up quick. But I came down here to pass the torch. And I really haven't told. Jesse gave it away just an ever slightest bit. It's been a popular question. I, oh, I bet it is. Yeah. I'm, ex I'm excited about it. it you're, it's going to be in great hands. So you passed the torch. I did. Shall we tell him? Shall oh, him? yeah. I think so. Oh, who's this guy? I'm Matt. I'm the new clutch assistant. So y'all are wondering, who's the clutch person? Look! Look! It's Blaine! It's the bald man. <laughs> bald man Blaine. Dude, doing, doing you're the doing clutch. the clutch. I am. Yeah, I... So so let's let's back up. When you started, yep. where'd you start? What'd you do? Started doing racks. Started doing racks. Yes. I was trying by fire. Started doing racks. Did that for a year. And, uh... I think it was an, I was an all right racks guy, except for that one time. <laughs> hey, you got a good nickname out of it. Refresh I mean, everybody I mean, on that. Nickname is Ringo, because where did the rings go? So, <laughs> yeah. Semi-final round at Denver. Yeah, we were the car to beat, too. We were going to win that race. <laughs> Absolutely. Were. And Donna gave you a good nickname. Yeah, she did. <laughs> I got a song and everything, if you haven't heard. There's a song. So e e Elaborate, because all you're doing is making people wonder. Still burn, so I used my knife, and late that night I saved the life of Ringo. Ringo. I don't remember that. Ooh. Isn't it called? It's called just. Isn't it Ringo? Ringo. Is that the name of? Well, the we know there's a drummer named Ringo from the Beatles. Yeah. that's true. Which is where Donna got your shirt from. Yes. Yeah. You I, wore that quite a bit too. Didn't every you? Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday, I had that shirt on, and then I lost. I had a bad time in Vegas and got my luggage lost or <laughs> stolen or something and I lost the shirt. So we we need but to make another shirt show up at some point. I think there. we should, yeah. yeah. All right, so racks to then what? Racks for a year, then cylinder heads for two, and now clutch guy. Or clutch guy. Probably the rest of my <laughs> drag racing career because... Oh, well, maybe not. Kind of, well, maybe not, maybe but not. It, it does kind of seem like once you get past not the really. Torch think into the th think about department. Jesse. Yeah, that's think true. About he was Jesse. he was a clutch guy, and he's now a car chief. So that yeah. I mean that's that's always he was, he was clutch. He was stuck though too, because wasn't Jesse in the clutch department for like twelve years, 10, 12 years, probably eight or 10 long time. Yeah. Years, yeah. Because I mean it's been eight years for me. So here's the thing to think about. So you were like a weird situation because basically, and we talked about this. You know, you uh, you kind of got hired as truck driver and. Yep. Once you got in the clutch, you were there. And unfortunately yeah. for you, you didn't, I mean, not that you don't, I don't want this to sound wrong, but you kind of were, what you were there, you were so good at it, you got stuck there. And you didn't yeah. get to learn the rest of the car right. other than by fire, so right. to speak. Yeah, I mean, it's something that when you get somebody in there that's consistent and good and, and that your crew chief is relying on to have that consistency all the time, it's it's probably really hard for them to want to pull that person yeah. and put them in another department. So. Yep. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of clutch guys out here that have been clutch guys forever. And I personally love the department, too. Yeah. So, And I think a lot of people, if you're that type of person and, you know, very detail-oriented and all that kind of stuff, you are you love the department, too. So, I don't But I, he went the what, right You route. know, Blaine, <laughs> you, you, you really do. you got to jump because you got a lot of experience yeah. on the rest of the car that she did yeah. not yes. get. Yeah, yeah it's, it is, um, I think, the ideal route you know, to start something basic. I honestly going directly into the clutch, it is a little nerve wracking at first because right. I wish I would have been able to be Bruce's assistant yeah, and kind of do that over time. And right, get just but, a little more hands on with yeah. it. So it, it's, it almost, the way I was looking at it, it almost kind of felt like I have to learn two departments now. Yeah. I, I don't, Matt has proven to be a huge help and he's he's done it before and he's super knowledgeable and we get along and everything's everything's gonna be fine everything's gonna be fine i think it's gonna be awesome uh, i think so too it's, it's gonna I'm, be good. i'm excited for you i am too I, 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 you know what i'm gonna hate we talked about this off camera you're not gonna be able to put me in the car no more i know i hate it's, that it's one of my favorite things and it's <laughs> it's like me and you just a little like yep. alone time don't yeah, you know that no, sounds weird that, no. 
like, you know. It's just me and you. You know, and and I should tell this because I know they show this a lot. Uh, I high five everybody on the team, but him. Is that me? Because we have our own little special right before they start the car thing. Yep. Yeah, handshake. Yeah, exactly. And it's a special secret handshake. Kaylin don't even know our little special secret handshake. Had you not? Yeah. yeah. And for me, my favorite time is when I bring the wear chart up to Jamo. Yeah. Because that's like, I know not everybody on the team gets to go up there right after a run and hear like how everything went, what we thought about the blower, what went wrong or what went good and talk about those things. So that was like always my favorite, being able to get that couple minutes of. Yeah, and you got to see the data. And yeah. Knew what went right, wrong. Wrong, and yeah. they And they actually, a lot of times, Jimmo's not to the point he knows the answer. Yes. But at least you have an idea. Yeah. Where these guys are, well, now it'll be you, but y'all are out there busting your butt. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, y'all have no idea why we shook no. the tires, why we oh. smoked the tires, why we ran good. Yeah. I actually used to come down from the stairs, and Blaine's typically right there in the head department, and I'd kind of be like, well, we blew through the clutch, or the blower was down right. two pounds or something. Yeah. So, like... It, it, I do like that, and because uh, every and it's not that we hide anything. From no, anybody. we don't hide just, nothing. It's stress. You don't have the time, and I just I have to bring the wear chart to yep. Jimo, so I just get that opportunity, and and we typically joke or talk about the run. Yeah. You see this or you see that, and I like that couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. And me and you always, you know, if Jimo was head down, me and you would kind of have our own little yeah. point point out something on the drive shaft speed or engine okay. RPM, whatever. Or talk you know. about falling on your face, you know. Yeah, you, exactly. <laughs> my trip. Who's gonna yeah. back you up? I don't know. We have okay. some stuff to figure out. You know, we got some. We need a new backup girl. Things yeah. are changing. Yeah, things are <laughs> changing. I can grow my hair back. I was out. gonna say. You know. <laughs> put, a, put a wig on. Put a wig on. <laughs> put a wig on. Get rep to do it. Get rep to do it. Yeah, I mean, the flowing hair. And put John in a sass bun. Yeah. And you'll be all good to go. Nothing ever changed. All right, I feel like I'm leaving you out of the conversation. Where'd you come from? I'm from Buffalo, New York. I mean, raised. I, I appreciate that info. Oh, dang. We got another one yeah. of them upstate. Actually, what, so what, did I, what did I get in trouble for? What I say? In Your our northern mouth. Northern upstate New York. attitude. Yes, mouth that's or whatever it, yeah. it was. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. Uh, some of y'all didn't watch the whole video, but that's beside the point. I know. <laughs> Race car wise, that's where I was headed with that, really. Uh, I went to college at UNOH, got an automotive high performance degree, and then. In 23, I was Jesse's clutch assistant on Doug Coletta's car. Awesome. We actually awesome. went to school together. Yeah. No I know kidding. him from school, yeah. yeah and then Blaine also went to the same school, technically, just yep. behind me. Yep, yep. Yeah, we got a few UNOHers. That's for sure. All right. That's a long one right there. I don't have to edit much of that, though. Man, that's going to no, just I've, pretty much I've, drop I'm it really in there and go. For the team. And, we, and in IndyCar, we only run 17 races, so I still plan on coming out to a few events. I'm really excited for everybody here. And I'm going to oh. wear my SAS ones on Sunday. Oh, here's here's a good question. When she shows up, you're going to let her help, or you're going to tell her to get out of my department? I'm telling her to leave. Yeah, I would. Get, get out of here. I, don't, I, don't. I would. Because you would, you would come. I mean, I would be the same way. I'll walk down there and see the guys doing cylinder heads and be like, what, what are you doing there? How did you, how'd you get that? What, did you see that? Did you catch that? Uh, I know Bruce would be the same way. So she's uh, so, not a lot. So do you think he's going to be able to keep up with, like, this was... Uh, yeah. You're organized. I'll just, I'll just. But put so it out we've there. already even talked. I'm like old school, and I'm like pen and paper, and that's also just because like I haven't had like computer programs and stuff. I've slowly over time, but I think Blaine's probably gonna go paperless, which yeah. I totally understand. Um, but I think it's gonna be awesome because at the end of the day, I leave this evening and get on a plane. This is his baby now. I've just uh, hopefully passed the general understanding of how everything goes on and how it works, and he's gonna find his own way, and that's all good. Well, yep. 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 I'm excited. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. <sighs> oh, just, so did y'all hear that? Last day. Last day. Last Actually, day. we're down technically right now. I, we got to leave for the airport in like a couple hours. Yeah. I'm trying not to think about it because it's kind of sad. I'm yeah. a little sad. <laughs> a little sad. But no, and, I'm glad I got to come down here for the week. I like feel. And like, it's just weird that I got here. I know. You got to tell that story right quick. So Last we, night. Yeah, we went let out me, to Let dinner. me back up. Let me tell my part. So, right. my game plan was I felt, obviously, <laughs> y'all watch it. Um, so, I flew to Raleigh. <laughs>
And my intention was to come to the shop and show up this morning and boom, surprise everybody, I'm here. But I get a FaceTime from Jesse, which he never does. I'm like, something's wrong. So now it's your story. Yeah, so we decided last night um, that we were gonna have a team dinner. Everybody's girlfriend, significant others, um, everybody who's down here, go out to dinner and kind of celebrate like my last day, I guess. And um, we decided to FaceTime Jimmo and Bruce because Jimmo is down in Australia right now with Bruce. I don't know what trouble they're getting into. I'm sure a lot of it, but uh, <laughs> we FaceTime them and then we're like, we got to FaceTime Clay. And then Clay's like, you should recognize where we are. And he's at the hotel a mile away. And I was so mad at Jesse <laughs> because I thought Jesse knew you were coming maybe and didn't invite you to dinner. And, and, I'm, and I'm a mile away. Yeah. And you're like in town and we just left you hanging. And then Jesse's like, no, I swear. I didn't know. And then he was like, yeah, we're going to come in and surprise you tomorrow. But yeah, yeah. that was my plan. But I, so I, I, it was kind of a surprise. At least everybody was together. It was. Yeah. No, but I'm excited. I got to come down here for the week and not like it, it makes me feel better being able to kind of hand everything off and, and, uh, just teach Blaine. And I never had to teach my job before. It was actually harder than I thought to like kind of pass like all the information that's in your mind and second nature at this point to somebody else but i've had fun doing it too so and i'm stoked for him yeah I'm stoked me for the too team. me too it's gonna be good I'm, I'm sitting here laughing so a fan gave me this rock star and i see somebody put a cracked rock star on there yeah that would have been isabel ah izzy naturally. izzy it would have been izzy <laughs> It wasn't me. Oh, wait, it wasn't? No, it definitely was. But yeah, I okay. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure it was him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was me. Uh, the shenanigans never end. Yes, nope. exactly. Never. That is a 12 minute long piece right there. I'm going to stop and then we'll start again doing something else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, you don't work here no more as well, of like right now. Yeah, I know. Officially. Peace out. Consultant. Consultant. I ain't leaving. Oh. <laughs> what is that from? I ain't leaving. <laughs> I ain't leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Boom. I know. Head to the airport. Mm -hmm. This one will be back. Yeah. That one will, but she just don't realize it yet. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold you to that, maybe. <laughs> Three months. Three months. So, so, all right. So here's the question. So when you come back, what yeah. are you going to do? I don't know. What part of the car are you going to do when you come back? Restock the cooler. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think if I if I could choose, it would be cylinder heads. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, everybody says that. Everybody says yeah. they want to do cylinder heads. Yep. So Jesse, you done. you just got a uh, kind of a confirmation there. Uh, oh, I would I don't know. I would I call know. it that. <laughs> I might have Two to take that up with Blake first. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. We can't work together. I don't think that Who's would go. He's on the go. other car. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that would go well. <laughs> All right, I'm holding her up from the airport. Her and John are headed home. John's coming back. But this is it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love being a part of your uh, channel. You know, you should start your own. I know, I know. I got to find out these social media rules and Well, I stuff. mean, even beside that. I know. I guess I do some fun stuff. Look, look how big your uh, thumbnail was. All you got to say I is, you're, I quit. I quit. Well, I'm fired. <laughs> I got fired. But yeah. I didn't really get fired. <laughs> All right. She's out of here.